We all know and love CapCut for editing our videos, but what if I told you it was a one-stop shop for photo editing too? What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. Video content is definitely key on social media right now, but your photo content has to be on point too. You want to ensure that the photos you're sharing support your brand vision and are just flat out aesthetically pleasing. This is where CapCut comes in. Today, I'm gonna walk you through CapCut's photo editing capabilities on mobile and desktop so you can perfect your photos with ease. You might be surprised with how much you can do on a free editing app as opposed to expensive subscriptions. But before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to the CapCut YouTube channel, okay? We post a lot of tutorials and product updates and I don't want you to miss anything. Okay, without further ado, let's open the CapCut desktop app and get started. To access the photo editor, click on this create image button on the right side. This is gonna open a new tab in your web browser. From here, you can create all sorts of assets for social media from TikToks to Instagram posts to YouTube thumbnails. But today, we'll just upload the image we want to edit right here. Here on the left side, you'll see options for text, shapes, frames, and stickers. You can even access your brand kit or upload more photos to make a collage. You can also head into the design tab to see unified branded elements that CapCut has put together for you. This includes a smart match option that's customized to your image, which is really cool. If you're trying to use your image as a base for a poster or advertisement, these tools on the left are very useful. But if you're just trying to edit your image without adding anything else, let's head over to the right side. Over here, you can add filters. Filters do the color correction and adjustment for you, which is a huge time saver. Once you choose your filter, you can click the adjust button to change its intensity. You can also add effects to your photo as well. If you wanna add a vignette or blur your image, you can do that here. You can add a fisheye, add some noise, or even pick this plastic wrap look. The sky's the limit. And of course, just like the filters, you can adjust the intensity of these as well. The remove background tool is my favorite. I use this all the time for my YouTube thumbnails. You can let CapCut automatically remove the background for you or customize the cutout. Within the customize section, you can restore parts of the background that you actually want to keep or erase additional parts of the image. You can also edit the edges of the image and add an outline, a little glow, a drop shadow, and more. The adjustments tab is essentially where you can create your own custom filter or let AI color correct your image with the click of a button. If you want to do it yourself, you can adjust the temperature of your image to make it warmer or cooler. You can also give it more of a pink or a green tint or adjust the saturation and vibrance. Within the light section, you can mess around with the brightness, exposure, and color contrast. You can change your highlights and shadows, you can add some shine and some fade, and these are all adjustable, so you can change the intensity of each color correction. Under the details section, you can add some texture to your image or some grain, so you can definitely set a specific vibe with these adjustments. There's a lot of room to play around here. The Smart Tools tab is really cool. Here, you can increase the resolution of your image. So if you feel like your image is a little blurry and needs a boost, you can do that here. You can also change the style of your image. I love the manga style turns you into a little cartoon. So cool. If you feel like your image is a little bit too dark, maybe you took it at night, you can enhance everything here. This will give you a little extra brightness using AI. The old photo restoration tool is also so incredible. Let's say you scanned an old picture of your great grandmother and wanna remove rips and tears. You can do that here. You can also colorize black and white images. Sometimes I just pull in random historical photos for fun. I think it's so interesting to change black and white to color. You might wanna spend some time playing around in here but it takes the detail work out of photo restoration and does it all for you with the click of a button. Moving right along, you can also change the opacity of your image. This can be useful if you have multiple images layered on top of each other. And speaking of multiple images, you can adjust their positions under the Arrange tab. You can move an image to the front or the back, you can align it with the page, change the size, and so much more. Once you're satisfied with your photo, head to the download button here on the top right and you're good to go. The photo editor in the web browser does so much, but if you're not so much of a computer person, you can still edit photos with ease on the CapCut mobile app. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so you're on the go and you wanna edit a photo. Open the CapCut app and press the photo editor button here at the top. Upload your photo and then you'll go to the editing page. Before you tap into the photo, you'll see a bunch of editing options here at the bottom. You can crop your image and change the aspect ratio for specific social media platforms. You can add text, shapes, and stickers. You can even add another photo on top of the one that you already have in there. If you wanna make any adjustments, 
intense, you can also do that, and there are so many options here. You can adjust the level of shine, brightness, exposure, and contrast. There are also sections for texture, sharpness, saturation, and vibrance. You can make your highlights brighter and your shadows darker. You can make your image warmer or cooler. For the purposes of my social media, I can usually make any changes I want to my image right here in the adjust section. These edits can completely change the look and feel of your photos. If you don't want to customize your adjustments, you can always just choose a filter. There are a bunch of subcategories to explore here from portrait filters to retro vibes. These filters are really great if you want to edit your photos quickly or if you want all of your photos to have the same look and feel. And of course, you can always adjust the intensity of these with the slider. When you tap on your image, you're going to get even more editing options. You can replace the image entirely, copy it, or delete it. If you've imported multiple images, you can change the order. You can also play around with opacity. The cutout feature is here as well. You can either let AI cut out the subject of your image for you or do it yourself. Personally, I like just letting AI do it and if there's something in the foreground that I want to get rid of or something in the background that I want to keep, I make the adjustments afterward. Once you remove your background, tap out of your image by just pressing the black part of your screen and then head into the background tab. Here, you can make your background transparent. This is great if you're using it for a thumbnail or you just want to place your image on top of a different background. You can also just make the background a particular color. There are a bunch of preloaded color options here or you can pick your own color from this chooser. You can also tap on the dropper to select a color from your image and make that the background. The export button is right here on the top right side when you're done editing up a storm. I'm so glad we got to go through CapCut's photo editor together because this app really does do it all. It has never been easier to edit your photos and curate the specific vibe that you're going for on your social media. What's your favorite photo filter? Are there any hot tips and tricks that you'd like to share with the class? Comment below and let us know. Also, let us know what other tutorials you want to see. If there are any features that you've been wanting to learn about, we've got your back. And with that, I will catch you in the next CapCut 101. Bye.